Okay, so this is the current state of my hallway and honestly, it's been worse. It's been much worse. the old mantelpiece off the road for free. Don't know why I do these things to myself, I really don't know. It's not like I don't have projects I'm supposed to be working on. But here we are. <laughs> to cut a long story as short as possible, I was going to the post office the other day and this is on the side of the road with a note on it saying free, I'd like a new home. And I knew of a home that would like a new mantelpiece. Oh yes, my house. Why? I Anyway, I have a giant clunky fireplace in my hallway and I can't take my bins out because I can't open the door properly so we need to do something with it. The front of this is so beautiful and it's just really breathtaking. It looks like the exact type of thing I've been looking for for this house for nearly four years now. It's so in keeping with the property and it's actually got some tiles on it that I think I can uncover with the help of a heat gun that I borrowed from my friend Vicky. It is the 34 degrees at the moment so probably not the best idea but apparently I'm a glutton for punishment. Oh speaking of great impromptu decisions I did get my nose pierced yesterday so if you're wondering what's different about me it's that I'm like 3% cooler now so anyway let's start. I've got to get this thing out of my hallway. The first thing I'm going to do with this is try and remove the paint so I need to go out and get a mask and a wallpaper scraper. Anything old could potentially have lead paint in it so I want to take this outside to do it and be as careful as possible. I also have a slight problem and namely these giant screws. I really don't know what I'm doing here. As you can see from the front of the piece, this piece of woodwork is screwed in with a giant screw. That big boy right there. And I think then it went into the wall that way. There don't seem to be any brackets on the back to secure it. But I have tried everything to get this out. Nothing is working. And I really do want to avoid taking off this piece at the front because we've got two of them and I don't want to ruin it. So I might have to make holes in the wall for the screws to go in to as well as get some new brackets but we'll figure it out these are the tiles i am so excited to see what they look like and look at this medallion here okay let's go out and get some supplies So as you can see here, I'm using the heat gun and a scraper to get rid of some of the flaking paint, particularly on the top of the mantle. And obviously I got it off of the tiles as well. The paint scraper was very sharp and it did sort of damage a little bit of the wood. It, the wood is really, really soft. So I wanted to avoid doing any more scraping. So I decided to sand it. However, we had a huge storm roll in, so I had to take it inside and sand it inside, but I got the worst done outside. I also managed to pry off a few pieces of wood that had been attached to the back of the fireplace. And I'm actually gonna make something similar to this to attach it to my wall. So this kind of helped me realize what I'm gonna do to attach it to my own wall. But we managed to get quite a lot done. And the next step was to actually take the old fireplace off. I'm at the point in the project where I'm regretting even starting. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like without the fireplace in place. That was really easy to take off. I'm gonna build a box around the frame so I can put the new mantle straight on. I measured my mantle and I got some one by twos cut at Juicens to be the exact shape that I want. So let's hope this goes well. I have tested them against the mantelpiece and they look like they're gonna be okay. So 
what I'm doing here is just installing the batten that's going to be a support for the top of the fireplace. I had originally planned to do two supports on either side but you'll see a bit later that I changed this idea because I wanted to attach those to the fireplace itself but the main one is the one that goes across the top so I had to put some plugs into the wall to make sure it was nice and secure. The next part of the project was the one that really really stressed me out. I actually had to cut a big chunk of the skirting board off to make sure that the fireplace could fit so here I am measuring where it's gonna go and drawing that up and I actually bought a very special skirting board saw online that's very flat so you can get into all the corners like this honestly this took me such a long time I, do I even tied my hair up this never happens <laughs> so yeah it, it took a long time but I'm just I'm very glad it's over so I've built the frame and it's just not quite working as I'd anticipated. So what I think I'm gonna do is take the sides off and then I'm gonna attach them to the back and just have it as part of the mantelpiece. And from there I can use the attachment pieces on the wall. These were what my last mantelpiece was held up with. So I'm thinking it should be okay. And we've got the extra support of the top beam as well. not going to show you me doing this because it's absolutely stupid but I figured out how to cut these nails off and it includes a steel saw blade and my jigsaw and some very attractive goggles anyway be right back problem solved okay I think we're ready to mount this on the wall we've got four brackets the pieces of wood to fill the gap I put grip fill on it and screws in it to make sure it's not going anywhere and I have my bar for extra support. If this doesn't work, I'm calling the carpenter. Okay. Hi, I'm jumping in with a voiceover because this music is becoming very repetitive while I edit this video. Um, as you can see, I sanded it with my detail sander and I tried to be very careful. Um, and once it was done, I was able to give it a good clean and get rid of all the extra dust. And then finally, I was able to paint it. So surprise, surprise, I painted it white. It's kind of a boring choice, but I thought it would have longevity and it'd be nice if I do decide to sell the house at some point in the future. It's just a nice, clean, simple color. I did think about doing something fun, like going for like a really dark color, but the color on the tiles is quite specific. So I didn't want to take away or add to them too much. So we went for a white and I went in with a woodwork paint and it came up really nice and bright. So um, I think it's looking good. fireplace is attached to the wall. Quite frankly, I am incredibly impressed with myself that I managed to do this. I had a few hiccups. I had to watch a lot of YouTube videos to get me through it, but we got there and I'm very, very impressed that I've managed to do it. It's very secure and sturdy and I did that myself. So the last thing I think you saw me do was put a coat of paint on the fireplace. It's made it look so much brighter. Last night at midnight, rather chaotically, I came in and did another coat of paint. Didn't film that, I think you've seen enough painting, but it's looking so much fresher. 
I actually also ended up touching up the skirting boards with some white paint as well, touching up the paint on the walls where I'd made a mess, and then I corked it. I forgot about that. I kind of wish I'd filmed this part, but you've seen me cork things before. I just corked between the wall and the mantelpiece to make sure that there were no gaps because there was an ever so slight gap, made it look a lot better. This morning I put the mirror back up, it's looking a lot better now with that in place, the, the whole thing is starting to come together. I think I said once that I had been reluctant to drill into this wall because I thought it might be quite crumbly because some of the walls in this house are, others are not, however this room has been plastered and after drilling into it for the mantelpiece I realised that crumbly is not the case. It is a solid concrete wall. So I've actually managed to hang the mirror up, which is nice. It gives me a bit more mantle space to play around with. I can style it. It looks good. And I've also managed now to put everything back in its place. I should be the last to know. Let me show you what this fireplace finally turned out like. This project was a total labour of love and quite frustrating at times, but I managed to learn a few new skills that I'm really quite impressed with. The fireplace itself is so much more impressive than the one I had before and honestly it suits the room better. The details on it look so in keeping with the house and I think it goes really well with the ceiling rows. And the blue tiles are gorgeous, they're not what I would have picked myself but I'm really, really pleased with them and that was a very nice find. So, that is the fireplace install. I'm very pleased I finally finished it. And what a bargain, because it was free. I mean, it did cost me a lot in materials and four trips to three different hardware stores, but we made it in the end. <laughs> I am thinking though, and this is something I could use your advice on, let me know what you think in the comments below. I have switched the sitting room around, as you know, because it works for me and it's really cosy in what should be the dining room, but that fireplace is so impressive that I almost want to flip it back around. Kind of annoying, I never stick with anything in this house, but it makes sense now that I've made such a beautiful piece to have it at the centre of the house. Okay, I think it's time that I peace out and I let you get on with your day. Quick question, let me know in the comments down below if you have found anything on the street recently that you've brought in to upcycle. What has it been? I'd love to know in the comments. And with all of that being said, thank you so much for watching. Happy upcycling and I'll see you next time. Bye.